Hello from Notron Pipeline Factory. Today we will describe the application of split sleeves that we have produced for Hoblum Oil and Gas Company. Our product will come to you in this wooden case. In this part, there will be a metal plate label with product information. We will use our test tube you have seen here to show you the application. To remove it from the case, we will first attach such eye bolts to a rope or chain. Then we attach it to the fixed eye bolts on the split sleeve. Be sure to tighten the screws. Then let's tie the rope to the crane and start lifting it. After removing the split sleeve, place it on a flat surface. So it will be convenient to remove the studs. We unscrew all the studs. The little nut you see here is placed in the split sleeve to prevent complete closure when in the crate or when not in use. So the gaskets are not damaged. It is seen that the surface of the pipe to which you will connect the split sleeve is clean and smooth. It can be spiral or flat welded. It is necessary to level the surface by sanding and smoothing it. As you can see, we do our tests on pipes with a rougher surface, just in case, so we are sure of the tightness under all conditions. Now we slowly lift the split sleeve with the help of a crane and place it on the pipe. After this step we will start installing the studs. Of course, first we must have a torture device so that we can pinch the bottom of the split sleeve and make all the holes parallel. Because if you notice, the lower and upper intervals are not the same. We'll make it the same by squeezing it. We have long and short studs on hand. First we lubricate the studs and attach them with the long ones at the head. Now we need to install the nut counters. We attach the nuts with the flat parts inwards and the ridden parts outwards. Then we tighten the nuts with this or similar tool. Of course, there is the order of tightening the nuts. So it's mutual. There is the order of tightening the nuts in the user manual on this subject. It will be tightened in that way and all the gaps will be removed and glued to the pipe. Now. If we show it from here, we have a contact gasket here. As you tighten, the distances here will close. Up to 3 millimeters is enough. After making sure of this, 
our work is done. So this split sleeve is now in a position to do its job. So you can leave it. Or, depending on preference, the places I have shown can be welded. Of course, since these are different materials, the welding wires must be different for the split sleeve body and different for the stud and nut. Their material is 4140. This welding also has a separate procedure. We have a blind plug here. This is a plug with a gasket. It does not leak. Epoxy resin can be injected through the hole here if more security is required in the repair in the relevant pipeline. Here we have the hinge. This hinge serves to widen and contract the wings. There are stoppers here to prevent over-opening. As seen in the video, these stoppers prevent excessive opening while removing the split sleeve so that it does not complicate our work. When you put the split sleeve on the pipe, it allows it to move in a way that grasps the pipe. However, the lower and upper intervals may not remain equal and parallel due to friction. For this reason, we restrict it with the torture device we just showed, equalize the intervals and make the holes parallel. It has a body made of a die cast material and is completely monolithic. If we had made this from sheet metal, the shield part would have been made of sheet material and the screwing part would have been made of billet. A layered weld is then required to join these two parts. In this case, it would be necessary to perform the MT test at each layer in order for the source to be healthy. Since we do not manufacture these clamps that way, there is no need for MT testing. There are hinge holders and eye bolts made of thin material on the split sleeves. Therefore, it is attached with a single welding. These were also tested with the ultrasonic test. Since ultrasonic test examines in depth, not only surface cracks but also deep cavities and cracks reveal all the details. Therefore, UT test is better and sufficient. Thanks for watching and listening to us.